Oh, that's so cool, though. We seem to be being pulled in the direction of... That's horrifying. Oh, my God. So I wanted to do a weather update for a bit now, and uh, you you guys like the the trolling videos, so you know tornadoes are a weather, and um, you know I just think that'd be a good thing to add. So uh, I want to get started right away. I'm gonna get to work on the lighting, like the clouds and stuff, and uh, then we can uh, work our way into more uh, more more lethal weathers. So yeah, let's get uh, started on a change in atmosphere real quick. I'll be right back once I go fine tune the clouds and stuff. So yeah, see ya. Okay, th this lighting looks good. Pretty, pretty eerie, which is what I was going for. But this means I can get started on the, the tornado itself. I just want to get that out of the way, the, the main part of the weather. It's going to be hard because I don't want to just use one mesh. I feel like that'd be boring. I'm going to have to do it with, uh, with like cylinders. So the whole animation and stuff is going to be super hard, but I'll come back with my first attempt. I don't think it's going to run well, but might as well get the hardest part out of the way first. So I'm going to, I'm going to go get started on that. So I'll be right back. All right. I think I made a tornado. Let me run the run the studio real quick. Oh god, this is probably gonna suck actually a lot. <laughs> this is a a raw test, so <laughs> this looks like poop. This looks like actual poop. I need to go. <laughs> I need to go remodel this for a second. Hold on. Okay, so the tornado looks a lot better now. So I'm gonna summon one right now, and then I'll go look at the coding because the coding is interesting. But you know, it, it, it's kind of cloudy out. Uh, it makes sense for one to just appear like how it is in real life clouds equals tornado let's see uh oh okay so maybe this pulsating effect is a little over the top i don't know why i added that i just thought it would look cool but but hey there's a super neat particle enable now at the bottom and i just need to make the movements linear so they're smoother so i'm gonna do that right now but uh, yeah the the base the base mechanics are functional okay so how it works is there's one initializing uh function right here and these first two numbers are just where it places but the, the other two are where it gets interesting so there's a height variable you can set so right now it's 30 but if i wanted it to be like a uh, stupid or something we could do like 300 which is 10 times taller than what we just saw so this might not run too well i'm gonna warn you this uh might not even run at all but f it oh my god wait it's fine what that's so cool that's so cool oh my god that's scary though so i just added a variable called segment height so this will just make it more optimized so if i do uh, like 10 it'll look more blocky but it, it'll just like run better so um as you noticed it doesn't quite move yet but i'll get to that in a second oh wait i forgot the height is still 300 <laughs> wait 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 um um where the f is the top <laughs> what uh this is kind of creepy where it how what i'm just i'm just scrolling I, I, i've been caught oh we're above the cloud level i guess super cool oh my oh okay here we are at a position of only eight thousand studs above the ground oh my god but yes so the cool variable ferocity um that affects like how uh how violent it moves so it was just at two a second ago i changed it to 20 so that's a 10 times more ferocious um spiral so hold on a sec so yeah running it will give us something like this and it, it just spirals a lot more like wide as you can see so that's actually so cool wait it's moving on its own what the f wait what i i swear i have no code to do that i think it's because of the the rotations are too high so it moves the whole tornado along with it. That's actually funny. <laughs> oh, I also don't think there's a limit uh, to how many. Uh oh, it might be over. Oh, I forgot it cleared the previous tornado. Okay, you cannot spawn a million tornadoes at once. Maybe I should add that though. Okay, so what I really want to do, and this is something I haven't done before, is like make destruction, but the parts eventually regenerate. So this can stay in the actual game. I'm going to get to work on that and I'll be back soon with the first test of that. So see ya. Okay, so there's been a lot of developments and uh, I think this is ready for release. So if I load up the game, you'll notice the atmosphere. Uh, it, it went away. It's normal now, right? Well, now, now there's an event tied to it. So so, um, you know, let's just select this house as a good starting point, for example. Um, you'll, you'll notice the, the sky seems to be changing. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, I forgot the, the code I added. Uh, it, it sucks you in if you get too close, but it's a little extreme right now. Uh, as you can see, the house is getting ruined. Also, yeah, lightning. Lightning has been added. So, rain, lightning, and now the main tornado itself. Uh, rip, rip, rip that tree. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? 
Oh my god. Um, it's throwing around a few leaves right now, so hold on. I'll be right back. I need to turn up its wind. It's too quiet to hear right now. But yeah, the most important thing is it can destroy the environment and eventually it'll regenerate the parts. It actually saves them in the tornado module itself. So I can I can just add this forever in, in the game and um it, it should it should be fine. So I'm gonna run a few more tests. Oh, that's so cool though. Oh my god. Uh wait, it's it's approaching kind of fast. We seem to be being pulled in the direction of oh. oh that's so cool though oh my god it blends in with the rainy sky so well it, it's trolling those uh those rocks oh, goodbye <laughs> The tree, no. Okay, now I'm just gonna let one run throughout the town and despawn and let's see if everything resets just to make sure it doesn't permanently reroute any servers. I also wanna make a width variable um, because I, I want there to be different widths. Like this is a skinnier one, for example, but I what if I want a really, you know, big one? Uh, okay, the school is probably not the wisest. <laughs> no, the school. Oh, <laughs> it, it just got me. The school's regenerating. Thank God. Okay, I can actually publish this. With my uh, other creations, I couldn't keep him forever because, you know, it would damage the server, like, permanently. But this uh, regenerative parts system allows me to, uh, to, to keep this. You know, I, I should probably make it take a lot longer to regenerate or else like, what's the point, you know, uh, but this is the entire script for the whole, the whole natural disaster, which isn't actually too, too long for what it does. All it does is changes the light profile, adds lightning bolts every now and then, flings the, uh, flings the player into the, the direction of the tornado. I should probably make this less uh, quick. This is the logging part system so that uh, parts regenerate. And yeah, these are all the animations for the, the movement. So that wasn't too hard to do. Let me add a, a width multiplier real quick. Um, I think it works. Let's let's make one like 10 times as big just to see what happens. Let's uh let's run it through the grocery store this time. Um, okay, it's in. Oh, oh no, oh no, it's over. It's where am I, dude? Oh my god, that's horrifying. That's horrifying. Oh my god. Oh my god, my game is not uh dealing with this the best that's huge and okay it stopped loading it maybe an f10 tornado is a, a little out of the question let's do a 3x multiplier 10 was insane that's actually world ending oh my god but yeah i'm gonna publish this this is so cool um i'm gonna go into a real server as you guys like to see so much and uh kill people okay bye uh-oh we're, we're, we're in normally i like to give these people a chance by uh warning them or something but i'm uh i don't feel like doing that today uh uh, goodbye, yellow house. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Dog. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 bro. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Play this one smart, dog. Let me, let me, uh, let me make myself invisible. Okay. L let's see what the, uh, oh. uh, I think a woman just, oh, 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 you guys, uh, really want to walk into the, into the tornado. Um, uh, there's still a brimming family population in this town. Uh, this, this boy is walking around like nothing's happening. So that's actually good on them. Uh, there's a fireball on the floor. <laughs> this, this diner is going to need some light repairs, I think. But other than that, people are carrying on with life. This isn't that bad. So yeah, I coded this into the game with a percentage chance of happening. So it can happen either every 20 minutes to 60 minutes. So any, uh, bit of time in between then, I, one of these should spawn. I think it just wrapped up. That wasn't too bad. Um, um, yeah, look, we're, we're, we're chill. It's a bright, bright, sunny day now. Uh, we got Mr. I fart here, uh, entering, entering the diner. Oh, it stopped. Hooray. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, it's becoming nighttime. A nighttime tornado would be evil. Uh Oh, that would be just cruel and unusual, especially to this young woman who, uh, is a new homeowner. Oh no, a boy dog. I'm supposed to be immortal. How'd it get me? No. I think I should make my presence known. Um. <laughs> oh no, it's getting everyone, dude. It's getting everyone. <laughs> no. The store. Oh no, the store is not locked for this world. Well, uh, I think it's really cool that uh, these spawn naturally now. So I, I think that's all the testing I need to do. You almost. Uh you almost had a little lightning accident there. <laughs> but yeah, this this is this came together really well. The atmosphere and the tornado animation is super cool. Honestly, not not too much damage. Oh, the, the house is rebuilding itself. <laughs>
<laughs> That's cool though, look. But yeah, super cool update. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite creations so far. Uh, and that's it. See ya!